So uh, number two was excretion of hydrogen as a titratable uh, acid. Uh, uh, no big issues here. Phosphor buffer system is a very effective buffer system in the sense that it's very efficient in its titration of hydrogen. Where does this all come from? You remember now this whole thing, it's again the same really, uh, same reaction uh, going on inside the alpha integrated cell, uh, uh, which you know is part of DCT. It produces hydrogen, which is uh, not just secreted by dedicated ATP secretors, hydrogen secretors, but also hydrogen potassium antiport mechanism, which I mentioned in part of uh, potassium homeostasis. The net result is secretion of hydrogen by the cell. This hydrogen is basically titrated against HPO4, which is filtered. So it's being made in the body and it's, it's filtered uh, in, the, in the glomerulus and comes to the, uh, uh, this part of the uh, tubule, uh, gets titrated with hydrogen, forms H2PO4, which can then be uh, relatively easily excreted, okay? Uh, so this is one part. One, there are two, three po very important points here. One part is how hydrogen basically titrates against filtered HPO4 to, fo to form H2PO4. Another very important point is this bicarbonate. Do you see any bicarbonate here? Nope, there is no bicarbonate here. So how does this bicarbonate come about? because hydrogen is being used by this reaction. So uh, whenever hydrogen will be titrated against a HPO4 ion and H2PO4 uh, uh, phosphate-based acid is made, a bicarbonate is quote-unquote created. We call it new bicarbonate because we, we just happen to, it just happened to be created by this reaction, okay? this bicarbonate will be reabsorbed. We call it new bicarbonate as opposed to, let me just go back, filtered bicarbonate. So at PCT, you have filtered bicarbonate being reabsorbed. Here at the infra alpha integrated cell, you have new bicarbonate, which is reabsorbed. Very important point, very important point to note. Okay, new bicarbonate given in red, so you can't miss it. Okay. Uh, the final point about this uh, system is that buffer system, this phosphate buffer system, however, it's very effective. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sharp buffer system. Uh, but the problem is it's not in the control of uh, kidney. Uh, it's not a dedicated acid base buffer system. It's basically uh, takes its cues from calcium and diet calcium, dietary calcium and bone related mineral calcium. That is where it basically gets adjusted. It basically gets uh, fluctuated. So mineral metabolism, uh, bone, by the pardon, bone metabolism and the kind of diet that you're taking, they will affect how much HPO4 will be filtered at any given time. So the kidney cannot really depend on this sharp buffer system although it's the, when it's there it's fantastic and it's there uh, a normal basal level is always there but it cannot be really relied upon uh, when you need a sustained uh, hydrogen bashing buffer system uh, this is not the choice because as i mentioned it's not in it's not even uh, it's not even made uh, uh, specifically for acid base uh, uh, disorders it's something else. It just happens to be uh, uh, such a way chemically that it can titrate hydrogen. Okay. So it's almost incidental, right? Cannot be depended upon. So that's, that's one thing basically. So uh, the number two thing is uh, this uh, uh, hydrogen as a, uh, as a, 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 its titration against phosphate. Finally, 